What's guys and welcome back to the channel. Today we're interacting to the ninth episode of Slime 300. This one's titled My Daughter Turned Into a Slime and Couldn't Change Back. Okay, so two main questions that arise from that title. Uh, which daughter? Is it Falfa or Shalsha? Uh, still have trouble saying that name, although we're getting better at it. Uh, and secondly, why did we turn back into a slime? I say back into a slime because they are slimes. Uh, they just have humanoid forms after like 50 years of slime souls being killed uh, by well 300 years uh, from um, Azusa that they became what they are and started that whole journey um, yeah I mean why why would it happen like is this someone consciously doing it is it just a random thing that seems to happen like what's going on is it like a hibernation thing? I have no idea how slimes work in this world. I guess we'll find out. Uh, but last time out, uh, we had Laika and uh, Flatort, uh bickering at each other, getting very like angry with each other, which is natural for them, but also a bit heightened as well. Uh, probably because they haven't eaten any fresh meat in a while, so you're not you when you're hungry after all. So um, <laughs> if anyone remembers that ad campaign. That might be a very British ad campaign. I don't know. I don't know if that... Uh, that made it overseas or not, but uh, that was a, a Snickers advert. Uh, you're not you when you're hungry. Um, but yeah, uh, we do learn uh, right at that moment, as if perfect timing, uh, Natalie from the guild brings news that there is a boar infestation. Uh, so there we go. We've got our perfect excuse to go help the guild and get some meat at the same time, which is perfect. Uh, for that um yeah, it goes a bit crazy, <laughs> just streaking naked. Uh, gets noticed by Beelzebub and uh, Vatler, um, because, of course, it's, it was just such a weird scene. Uh, but we do manage to take down the boars fairly easily. I mean, they're just boars are not that big of a deal for us. Um, but get some meat. Uh, they, uh, uh, they also take some back and sneak off in the night to try and get some, uh, which is just typical when Asda catches them because uh, they were bickering over um, who who gets to sleep in Asda's bed and that's why they're constantly bickering is like well no it's my turn it's my turn like things like that uh, but she's just like oh fine both of you get in here and it's like oh um, and then the second half of the episode was the impersonation one uh, we learn that uh, there's an impersonator uh, trying to take credit for some of Asda's deeds um, and we end up in a ma in a uh, what would you call it? Would you call it a masochist bar because masochists go there? Or would you call it a sadist bar because it's a bar with sadists that you as a masochist would enjoy? What would technically be the correct way to refer into it? Like, it's a pub that serves masochists, but would you call that a, a sadist bar? Like, I, I feel like you would, right? You'd refer it to what they offer rather than who's meant to be going there, right? Yeah, because you would st a, a style a restaurant, if it was like a Chinese restaurant, it's because they're serving Chinese food, or these Chinese dishes, so you kind of expect a sadist club, or sadist bar, to offer sadi sadistic services, right? So, um, I, I assume. I'm thinking way too much about that. It's not important. Uh, but as and Laika are actually fairly decent at it, which is something. Um, and then we do find the, find the, uh, the old woman that's impersonating us, apparently who runs away, but transforms into a younger witch named Eno. <clears throat> Eno is a medicine maker, uh, wants to be famous, uh, but also doesn't want to actually be recognized, which is kind of a contradictory statement, but <clears throat> I think understandable. And I think to an extent, that's what a lot of content creators are leaning towards more recently. I mean, if you can get that fame through like just your voice rather than having to show your physical appearance. I mean, kind of like a, like a VTuber type situation. I'm sure many people would prefer that because it means your day-to-day -day life is not in, as impacted unless someone happens to recognize your voice, which is much less likely, especially if you then do a voice impersonation on top of that. And it becomes like, yeah, you'll, you'll always be anonymous to most people, but you have your still fo famous following at the same time. Um, so it's an understandable idea, I suppose. Uh, so what we suggest is, since we've got this medicine that is actually pretty good, uh, let's just have you as a character, an idle girl character, to sell the medicine, and you'll still have your anonymity because you're playing a character, not your actual self, uh, but you'll also get your fame as well. 
which ends up working out. Uh, she's looking to expand her business, and it looks like Haokara might end up being a business partner in the future as well. So nice little partnership forming there uh, as well, which is just awesome. Um, and then, yeah, now we go into whatever's happened to one of our daughters. I wonder which one it's going to be. I do wonder. Uh, we're going to load the episode up here. As per usual, these are tire-based format reactions here on YouTube. If you want to see the full Patreon pitch, you can go to my Patreon down description below. Four pounds a month gives you access to all Patreon pitch reactions I do on the channel, which is everything from the current seasonal lineup, as well as Patreon request shows such as uh, World Trigger, Symphogigi, and Lock Horizon Season 2. Uh, we also have movie reactions. Uh, there's currently an ongoing poll to vote on which movie we watch this uh, this uh, month. Uh, it's currently a battle between Promare and I Want to Eat Your Pancreas, so you could be the vote that sways it, so go join now. Uh, but here on YouTube, we do tire based. So, bottom left of the screen, you'll see a tire for the episode. I count down 3 to 1 play. Then, I'm playing side episode, I side episode, and we should be in sync. Watch this one on Crunch as usual, since they're the ones who licensed it. Um, yeah, no logos or anything. Just go straight into the episode from a back screen. Uh, you can use screen flash on my face, the mic, or this part of my headset to tell when scenes are transitioning. That should have you synced up as well. So, with all that said, let's get into this week's episode, shall we? In 3, 2, 1. Cooking. Oh boy. So Falfa's the ones that changed. Mm. Nope. Can't speak either. Interesting. Okay. <laughs> so, what we have this room? Mm hmm. <laughs> That's all the convincing you need. Might be some incredibly clever foreshadowing if that's meant to have been her in this OP the entire time. I think it was just meant to be a generic slime considering we've got four of them, but uh, something in my eye has been bugging me all day. So I haven't checked in with God recently. Wonder if we will. Here we go. Doors turned to a slime and couldn't change back. Now <laughs> we'll take a look. Right, we're the most powerful magic user here. I mean, that's fair. Oh no, <laughs> again! <laughs> Every time. <laughs> uh... Yep. Yeah. 
that's a good idea. Intelligent slime, okay. Okay. Yeah, it's just called intelligent slime. Yep. I think that's fair. Hmm. Whee! Fair. <laughs> Sorry, too soon. <laughs> oh, here we go. <laughs> Fucking sound effects. Wow. Uh, please don't. That shed. Uh. Directions. Oh, hello. Ah, okay. That's pretty clever. Jump in, though. <laughs> Uh-huh. A magician slime. Oh, we're just going to go see all the other slimes. Is this going to be the red one now? Or whatever colours there were in the OP? Okay. Okay. <laughs> We absolutely will. Hmm. Yeah? I get the feeling we're going to have that exact situation happen in a minute. Uh... Ah. Aha. Is that a one way transformation or can you freely go between? Fair. Ah. <laughs> uh. 
Okay. Sure, we know that. <laughs> uh. Yeah. I've got a clue. Wait, wait, what? <laughs> what? Okay. What well, weird reason? Or you just work out the muscle. Mm. Okay. Off to fight a slime. Oh my god. Okay. 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 <laughs> okay. Essentially, yes. Fighter slime. Oh, there actually is. <laughs> Uh, uh, God damn it. What journey we're going on. What would you expect? Oh, hello. Is that Beelzebub? <laughs> okay. <laughs> yep. Mm hmm. No oh boy. Oh. Amazing. Mm -hmm. So I'm guessing Beelzebub has to like intentionally lose to Fighter Slime then? If that was a semi, f yeah. Right. Okay. <laughs> oh my god! Uh <laughs> oh my god! The fucking. Uh. Oh my god. No oh boy. No oh boy. <laughs> yeah. Mhm. Mm this is our opportunity. She just did, right? That was the semi-finals. Yeah. <laughs> That's kind of a weird line to say. <laughs> oh. Okay. Nice.
<laughs> now we can fight without having to worry. Mm hmm. <laughs> uh, well, I think we know, but I think we know. Oh, okay. <laughs> yes. Yes. Yeah. Hmm. No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Whoa. She's fine. <laughs> Boy, this this could be a long fight. Oh. Mm hmm. <laughs> mm. Adorable. Yep. <laughs> oh. Very nice. Very nice. And a better fighting scene than uh, the human side of Star Wars Pirates of what? <laughs> That's a sad statement. <laughs> hmm. And drop? It'd be so funny if you just dropped her and ran to her kids instead. <laughs> that would have been so funny. Uh. Mm. One way I actually allow magic as well. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yep. Yep. Yeah, but you got kind of demolished. Uh, <laughs> Can I borrow some money? <laughs> I swear to God. Oh, oh, here we go. Another student. Uh. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. <laughs> oh boy. Well, well, <laughs> terrifying the pure girl. Oh, my God, that's a bit harsh. Uh, Hello again. Oh god, immediately. Cause she is. <laughs> Potential. <laughs> Uh, well, when the kids ask, she can't really argue. <laughs> hmm. Slime dorses are fucking adorable, they really are. Yep. I love this show. I really do. No after credits. Yeah, no after credits. Just the typical very abrupt ED ending because that was a choice, I guess. God, the fucking... The the slime girl getting absolutely demolished though by Beelzebub was just too funny. <laughs> like I knew it would be a fairly quick fight, but I thought, oh Beelzebub, he kind of needs to lose here, but no, that was gonna happen. Uh, God, it's so funny. And then obviously all the sound effects, classic. Gotta love them. Gotta love this show. All right, all right, ready. Very good episode. Very, very good episode as per usual. God, the f I just I have to see that again. I have to see Beelzebub just demolish that girl again. I have to. 
Where was it? <laughs> uh, so yeah, go about 12.40 into the episode if you want to rewatch it. Um, runs. <laughs> Just the facts. <laughs> oh, it's so funny to me. <laughs> It's just so funny. I have to watch it again. <laughs> I don't know why this particular scene is just so... <laughs> uh... God, this show is so fucking dumb. I love it. <laughs> I love it. I'm not even kidding when I say that Final Fight was actually better animation than what um, Slime had for its human fight. At least it felt more typical of an anime. Uh. God, this show's amazing. It's it's the perfect type of show. Like I said, we always need a cute type of show every season. This has fit that description so perfectly. It's not the most chill episode because it's funny and entertaining and somewhat action-packed in of itself. Um, it doesn't classify as chill, but it's the cute side of things that's so just, like, amazing. The fact that we have our slime daughters is honestly one of the greatest decisions they could have made with this. They could have made this into, like, as a base premise, this could have just been, like, a reverse harem type situation. Or, well, would it even be a reverse harem in that instance? It would just be a harem, really, right? It's not reverse. Reverse harem would be... Uh, uh... A girl and a bunch of guys, right? That's the definition of reverse harem. Uh, so something similar to uh, uh, Saints Magic Power, although I wouldn't technically consider that one. Um, this would just be... Well, harem is a guy and a bunch of girls. Reverse harem is a girl and a bunch of guys. If it's a girl and a bunch of girls, that's still technically a harem, right? I don't actually know what it would be. And in, in a male version of that, so a guy and a bunch of guys... Would that still just be referred to as a harem? Is it only reverse harem when it's a girl and a bunch of guys? Or is it reverse harem whenever it's guys going after the main character? Jenny can curious about that. How would you classify that and how would others like actually classify it? Would it just be a boys love harem, for example? Would it just be a girls love harem? Just kind of curious about that wording, but uh, yeah. The, having them as daughters and like getting a more motherly sense out of her because of it was a very, very smart decision for the show uh, for, and for the source material as a whole, obviously. Um, it just works so much better and makes it so much more cute and just, like, adorable uh, than just the typical somewhat etchy route you could have gone with it, you know? So. You've got your etchy, thanks to Hakara and, to an extent, Beelzebub as well. Um... But yeah, it's definitely a more family than harem, which is, I think, a very nice touch. So anyway, that's going to do it for today, guys. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed that one as per usual. Leave a like if you did, as well as your comments for what you thought of the episode. Don't forget to hit subscribe as well to see next week's episode, as well as the rest of the Spring 2021 online you can find here on the channel. We just recently crossed 1,000 subs. Uh, I was complaining about it in my last recording sessions. I was like, we're so close. We've been hovering around in the 990s for so long. I was like, we're so close. We're like one sub away, and here we are. Um... By the time this goes out, I'll probably have lost a couple of subs and we'll be back below a thousand because that would be typical. Uh, but we did hit a thousand. I have it screenshotted. So thank you everyone for your support. We hit that a uh, couple of weeks early from what my original goal was. So thank you everyone for your support as per usual. Uh, let's let's keep going and see uh, how high we can take this. So thank you everyone for watching. Till next time. See you guys later.